Hey, let's go fishing. Out there. Come on. Alright guys, we're still on Hilton Head. This is the first day that I've been able to do any fishing. The rest of the family is gone, so it's just my wife and I now. Today is Thursday. There's a storm out at sea, but you can see the beautiful sunrise. And blue skies inland. But out there, there's a storm. I've seen lightning in that storm, but that's far, far away. Doing a little fishing today. I caught my first catch, and uh, hopefully they'll get bigger. But this is just a little whiting. I could cut him up and use him for bait and go for something bigger, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let this little guy go. But uh, I'm using shrimp on a high-low rig. Got a three-ounce weight there at the bottom and then two hanging hooks and I put this out there and then in a matter of four or five minutes caught this little whiting so I'm gonna go throw him back put some more shrimp on here whoa put some more shrimp on here and I'll uh, see if we can get his big brother or big sister or mama or daddy all right just about four minutes later five minutes later another one of these little whiting and I hope that's not going to be the story of the day where these are all I'm catching if I don't catch something else soon I'm going to start cutting these up going for something bigger alright so they're getting a little bit bigger now same type of fish it's a whiting and uh, this one uh, he comes in at 10 inches I don't know what the limit as far as weight is but uh, I'm not here to keep these fish I like these circle hooks man these circle hooks they basically set themselves whoop he jumped into my bag so yeah getting a little bit bigger let's keep going for the bigger guys Whoa. Alright guys, this time we got this beautiful little catfish. Check him out. Isn't he pretty? Look at the wingspan on those spikes there. He's little. He's only 11 inches long. So we're going to throw him back. That's a catfish. seven little ones, a couple of bigger ones, and a catfish. I think if I catch many more of these, I know I keep saying that, I'm going to put a bigger hook on and cut one of these bad boys up for bait. 
but let me go put him back before he dies. But you can see how fast it happens. You saw me walk out there. What I do is I walk up to about chest deep so that I can cast beyond the waves. Then I move back with the line open, leaving the bait beyond the waves and stand to about my knees. Then I tighten the line up and I keep it tight and I keep my finger on it. And when a fish hits one of those hooks, you feel it with your finger. And then all you have to do, one little tug sets that circle hook and it does a good job. I uh, really like these circle hooks. And uh, I've noticed I've been using shrimp for bait. Uh, I use a head and a tail. And there's no rhyme or reason. They're biting both the heads and the tails, so they don't care. I've heard some people say, oh, you can't catch fish with the tail of a shrimp. That's bull. So we're catching them. My intent is not to keep these fish. I just enjoy it. They fight because you're fighting the current and the fish and the waves. And it's just a lot of fun to reel in even these small fish. And uh, I'm using a uh, seven foot Berkeley Fusion rod. It's a seven foot and it's a heavy medium action. And I already showed you the high low rig that I'm using. And uh, the reel that I have on there is a Berkeley. I don't know what the name of it is. Well, it's a Berkeley Fusion reel as well, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's a good setup for the surf. It's working well. Who knows, I might land into something big. Stick with me, guys. Well, that storm that I showed you earlier that was out at sea with the lightning and the thunder, it's pretty much gone now, as you can see. And now we got nothing but blue skies and bright sun. All right guys, so I've been out here for exactly one hour. I've caught six small whiting, two bigger whiting, and then that one catfish that I got on film. Film, video, whatever, you know. The tide is coming in. I've had to move my stuff forward twice. And I've noticed that since the tide is coming in, the bites have slowed down. I was catching a fish like every five to eight minutes or so. By the time I walk out there, cast it, walk back in, wait, and reel in the fish. But now, but now the uh, tide's coming in. Like Alright guys, so it's been about an hour and a half and like I say, I haven't caught any more than those six small, two medium, and one catfish. It's definitely slowed down since the tides come in. Uh, it's about 8, 8.40. I'm going to go in now and see if Mrs. Arabin is awake and uh, have some breakfast. And then I think we're going to come out and spend the rest of the day on the beach. Maybe I'll come back tonight again when it's low tide. While the tides are always changing, the next low tide will be in about six plus hours. So maybe I'll come back and try again at low tide because I seem to do a lot better then. I appreciate you guys coming along on Urban Outdoors. Until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.